If you have made it this far in life not knowing what pegging is, I'm going to ruin your innocence through one very simple explanatory pantomime. Does that make sense? It's the smaller hole. And it's when a woman does it to a man. What? Are you guys following me? Hopefully you guys all enjoy that pantomime. You may absolutely use that. This one's called My 26-year-old male girlfriend, 25-year-old female, wants to peg me but won't even get me flowers. My girlfriend and I have very different views on gender roles. For example, money isn't important to me in the sense that it doesn't bother me if she makes more than me. <gasps> but I thought that this was a deal breaker for men according to certain unhinged women on the internet. I think in heterosexual relationships, either party can pop the question, either party can get the other flowers, either party can pay for dinner, make the other one feel special, etc. I see it as more of a partnership rather than the dynamic we most associate with couples from the 50s. Whenever we talk about marriage, I let it be known that she can propose too, even though I know I'll probably beat her to it. I also let it be known that sometimes I want flowers as well. I like flowers. I love buying her flowers, but I'd like to receive some sometimes too. But each and every time we have these types of discussions, all I get in return is, men these days are so sassy. Hey, bitch. I think this part of the story is what bothers me so much, too, is... Guys, if, if you haven't heard this before, or if you have, and you just didn't know what she meant by it, whenever women say this, the, men are so sassy these days, that's woman for, I like that you're acting like me right now. It's woman for, it makes me uncomfortable that you're trying to express that you'd actually like effort from me. It's women's way of gaslighting you into thinking that you were wrong for expressing a want or a need. It's an improper use of the word sassy because no one would ever say to a woman who's like, I would love to get flowers sometime, just out of the blue. No one would ever be like, someone's feeling sassy today. You're choosing that word to deliberately try to emasculate him as a gaslighting manipulation tactic to not actually have to address his desires. That's a red flag. I find it ironic that she calls me sassy and that she doesn't think the, that women should get men flowers, but is at the same time trying to convince me to try pegging, which requires a complete 180 in gender roles. I genuinely don't understand. You won't do something as simple as getting me flowers because that's not a woman's job, but you're willing to peg me? This doesn't make any sense to me. How do I get her to see the flaw in her reasoning? I thought this one was just absolutely fascinating because of many reasons. You guys know that I don't like the traditional gender role thing. Again, if people make the choice to enter traditional roles, that's fine. That's your choice to do so. But I don't like the concept of trying to force other people into gender roles. This is something that I say a lot that some people may find controversial, but one belief that I have is that most of us are non-binary, meaning if what non-binary means is that you don't perfectly fit into your gender, that's probably most of us at the end of the day. Now, I'm not trying to shit on the term non-binary. I know that what it actually really refers to is people who do not want anyone using pronouns, at least gendered pronouns. And so it does have its own very specific category. But if what it started off as is, well, I just don't follow all of the roles of my gender. None of us do. Very few of us are going to fall into every single stereotype that aligns with our gender. And that's perfectly fine. You should not feel forced to in order to be more of a man or more of a woman or whatever it is you're really trying to present as, right? 
So, I guess my first question right off the gate is, does pegging a man make you less feminine, and does getting pegged make you less masculine? Because here's the thing, I, I definitely also don't think that men who enjoy chocolate starfish stimulation are any less of a man at all. I don't think that it's even an implication that you're even further along on the Kinsey scale. Look, God put the prostate, or whatever invented us, any gods you believe in, however we ended up being created as humans, someone put a prostate into the male butthole only, okay? It got put there for a reason, and it it was made to feel good for some kind of a reason, all right? I'm not gonna knock a man for being like, whoa, that felt good on a part of the body that has nerve endings designed to feel good. Why would I shit on a dude for discovering that about himself, okay? Th there's plenty of things that I have discovered about myself that I like too. Doesn't make me less of a woman, right? I, I don't think that it makes you any less of a man, any less straight. Some of you disagree with me. However, even though I don't think it takes away from your masculinity at all, and the same exact coin, obviously receiving flowers from your girlfriend doesn't make you any less of a man either. I have my own opinions, and I respect that other people have different opinions, the only time that I ever get really upset about a difference of opinions is when someone can't remain intellectually consistent. I believe, for example, in 50-50 relationships. I believe that two people who are both working should, at least this is the kind of relationship that I have always wanted anyway, should contribute at least 50% of the lifestyle that they want to live, right? That's, that's personally always what I sought in a relationship. I never wanted to be a sole income earner. I never wanted to not earn income. That's just me. Now, someone else might say, well, I think that a man should provide and a woman doesn't work. And I'd say, okay, that's great that you think that way, but you better be consistent. I don't want to hear any of this. Well, I think that a man should provide for a woman, but a woman can work. She just gets to keep all of her money. See, that's not, that's not intellectually consistent then because you don't actually have any logic and reason behind your values. You're just trying to suck out all the benefits of traditional relationships without contributing your end then. Because if you're also working, you're not then contributing more to housework. I know that. If you're working, you're going to you're going to expect him to do 50% of the housework. I know that to be true. So how is it fair that you're both working, you're both doing housework, but only he's paying bills? That's when people lose me. And similar to this argument, how is it fair that you want to put your man in a position where it's a little outside of his typical gender box, but you refuse to buy him flowers. Unless, may maybe, maybe this is her intellectual consistency. Maybe she agrees with me that maybe she thinks pegging is masculine, and so is not being bought flowers. I will say this comment, the top comment, is hilarious. This person wrote, ladies, take note. Flowers are indeed the way to a man's bussy. <laughs> Second comment. So if I buy my husband flowers, I get to peg him? Your GF sounds like a fuckboy. <laughs> These are all great comments. No one's giving any actual advice, and I'm here for it. <laughs> Do you guys think that this is a gender reversal and that she should, in kind, then take on the other gender role? That would be, in this case, I guess, the flowers. Or do you say there is no reversal of gender roles? Getting pegged is not a reversal of a gender role. It's just a way to enjoy coitus 
And therefore, she does not have to leave her gender role because she's she's never left it to begin with. <laughs>